Most of you say, oh, I hustle, I grind, I work my ass off, blah, 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 blah. But are you really? No, you're not. You're not working as hard as you say you are. I began to pick myself up, dust myself off, so, and I asked the question, what is it? That continues to drive you, push you, to continue to get up every single day after you've been knocked down. You've been here before. What? Doesn't help you, does it? Doesn't give you everything you really need, does it? It's time to get real, it's time to get. Rod's time to look ourselves in the mirror and come to the resolve that this version of ourself is not going to carry us in the stretch I've been this version of myself. Long enough that if I don't change if I come do something about this, then I'm going to find myself bankrupt. For me to understand, for me to be better, for me to be stronger, I must learn to suffer a little bit. I want you to look at your relationships, and I want you to upgrade your relationships. See, MIT did a study, and this study indicated that you earn within two to $3,000 of your closest friends. Not only did I start reading books every day and listening to positive messages, but I separated myself from my friends who did not have goals and who did not have dreams. Why? Because people rub off on you. It's called a mind virus. You earn within two to three thousand dollars of your closest friends. So when you upgrade your relationships, you got to ask yourself the question, who is it that I need to associate with that I can learn from, that I can grow mentally, emotionally, spiritually and financially? By aligning myself with another person that I can learn from, and Dr. Dennis Kimbrough said, if you're the smartest one in your group, you need to get a new group. Whoa, think about that. I was the smartest one in my group. Then one person called me who had been admiring me for years and said, Les, I, I want you to coach me and my trainers. You're not doing all the shit that you could be doing, and yet you complain about where your results are. You're not doing the shit that you claim to be doing. You might work one or two days a week. You might stay up late one night a week. You might stay up late two nights a week. Everybody, all human beings, all of us, have the tendency to choose the easy path as opposed to the one that we know is gonna be hard. It's our nature. It's the path of least resistance, but guys, the path of least resistance is the one we take because we're afraid of the fucking work. On how to tell a story and create value for an audience. And I want to share with you some things. I want to teach you some things, old man. I said, is that right? He said, yes. You always say you're never too old to learn and you're never too young to teach. I want to teach you some things. I said, okay, I'm open to that. Now, let me share this with you. He blew my mind. The most money, as I mentioned to you, I've ever earned, speaking to over 8,000 people in Salt Lake City, Utah, $260,000. I did an event with this individual, just over 500 people, because of what I learned from him, because I upgraded my relationships, I earned over $410,000 in an hour and a half. I was excited, but I was also depressed. Because I've been speaking for 28 years and I start thinking about all the money that I left on the table. And the problem with that is this, that's the path everybody takes. It's not a situation of luck. It's not a situation of magic. It's a situation of what you are willing to put yourself through to find the result that you're looking for. What are you willing to go through? What journey are you willing to endure? Because the people who are willing to endure the most pain are the ones who are gonna produce the best possible results. It's a fact. It's not something that can be argued. Nothing in life that's worthwhile is easy. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing in life that's gonna pay off big is gonna be simple. Nothing in life that is going to, to, to change your life and make it this thing that you want is going to be quick, painless. I must learn to struggle a little bit and I cannot reap the rewards of success without understanding what struggles. Success is not automatic. You don't get things just because you want them. You achieve your goals only when you are 
disciplined enough to keep showing up when you don't feel like it. You're going to put the blood, you're going to put the sweat, you're going to put the tears. You're going to lose sleep. Is it your daughter at home? Is it your mama? Because as I reminisce and watch my mama sit on the edge of that bed and cry every single night. Are you back yet? Because whatever it is that does stand behind that passion, purpose, and desire that picks you up every single day, it better be strong again. I'm talking you will be knocked down. A storm is coming. You will be exposed to the elements. A tornado is coming. It doesn't really get you where you want to be in your life. Because there could be some great disappointments in your life because you put so much trust in people instead of trusting yourself. Trust in your own ideas. Being alone sometimes can make you strong. Doesn't necessarily make you a weak person, but it gives you time to rectify within yourself, to have some clarity, maybe even some closure in your life. Sure, you can hang out with people. Sure, you could be a part of people's lives. But make sure you keep the right company around you. Make sure you keep the right people in your life. Because everybody that you think means something to you may not necessarily mean something to them. You're going to go days without eating. You're going to do whatever it takes to make. The sacrifice is necessary. And at best, there aren't too many people in your life who have left you. There are too many people in your life who have counted you out. There are too many people in your life who have whispered your gear and said you'll be worse off without them proving wrong it's time to commit to focusing on you it's the faith that stands behind that purpose passion desire that got you getting up every single day after you've been knocked down today yesterday you may be knocked down tomorrow don't change if nothing changed so you have to take action and when i say take action you have to self-assess and say it is you versus you when you can look in the mirror and you can say to yourself, I didn't study, I woke up late. When you can say it's me versus me, when you can get very comfortable being very uncomfortable, you begin to grow. You begin to grow and you don't go to pointing fingers at nobody. You may be an obstacle in their way. So don't put all of your trust, don't put all of your eggs in a basket and think that it's all you need. You have to explore other things, other horizons. You have to understand that there's gonna be a lot of challenges ahead of you, but you have to continue to press on. You have to continue to follow your own path. You have to continue to believe in your own ideas. You have to continue to believe in you. You don't need everybody to validate you. In fact, you don't need validation from anyone. Have you gotten to a position where you feel that every time you fall back, people are gonna look at you less? Do you feel less of yourself because you don't fit the criteria what other people expect you to be? Or do you feel less of yourself because you don't have the certain expectations that people think you should have? You have to disappear and put the work and come back and shock everybody that doubted you. But don't let yourself be vulnerable to weakness. Don't let weakness consume you. Don't let hopelessness consume you. Be about your business. Understand that you've got to keep living and living stronger. You keep showing up if you keep going hard.